De La Wright, my envy this. Welcome. It is indeed said that if an arrow has not entered deeply, then its removal is not hard. But when it enters very deeply, its removal becomes very, very hard. We have gotten a rumor that is making the rounds on social media right now that that uh, cat woman that was caught by Yanifa under Queen Naomi's uh, G-Wagon. You remember they said they woke up um, sometime last week or yes, and found out that um, Queen Naomi's G-Wagon that was parked right there in the palace came up with a shattered, you know, windshield. Now, that G-Wagon is relatively new. It's beautiful. It's a car that a lot of people have admired because they feel like it's one of the most expensive cars that Union Wife has bought for any woman. And yet he bought that for Olori Naomi. And Naomi must really be special um, to the Union Wife. But when... Um, uh, Olori Naomi was ushered into the royal manor. Sometimes she will come in with her driver and they say, well, on one of those occasions, the driver drove the G-Wagon alone after Oni Ovife had entered the palace with Olori Naomi. The driver came alone with that car, that G-Wagon. So the G-Wagon was parked in front of the royal manor and it was in a very good state when they brought it, only uh, for people to get up the next morning to see shattered windshield. Now, the windshield that was shattered, it wasn't only the front windshield. Uh, somebody uh, would have thought that maybe somebody threw a stone or something from across and it shattered the windshield. No, that wasn't the case. They said that... Um, the 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 side was shattered. The as uh, the rear was also shattered. The rear mirror was also shattered. But as they were trying to inquire what had happened to the G wagon, they said they saw something like a white basin by the side somewhere. Um, they said as the security, they were trying to get to the white basin. They saw Yanifa. Yanifa was saying, uh, wait, 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 that they should wait. And when Yanifa came, did all have uh, and they opened the white basin. Behold, there was a uh, card there that they, Yanifa was the one who held the card by the waist and took the card to her own um, um, place, um, the shrine at the back where she stays. And um, before long, they found out that it has something to do with a woman that sells granite. And that woman happens to be a woman that is married to the driver to Blow Blow, right? And they said this woman, KBSC, has been very, very kind to this woman that um, and KBSC even patronizes the woman's granite. You know that granite, now good granite is so for um, 2,500, you know, in some places, 2,000. They say KBSC buys one bottle of granite from that woman for 10,000 naira, okay? Now, they said that if not for KBSC, if God had not used KBSC to um, keep that woman alive, that the woman probably would not have been alive today, that there was a time the woman had fibroid, and the fibroid were busy drinking her blood, taking her blood, that every time they were um, trans, um, fusing um, um, a, a red into that woman's body uh, because of that fibroid. They didn't have the financial capacity to go and, you know, remove the fibroid. You know that fibroid sometimes, some, how about some people will tell you they can, it can melt, but when it becomes very big, I don't know if that happens as well. They said it was KBSC who gave money for them to go and perform an, uh, perform a surgery on this woman. And the husband has remained grateful to KBSC. And the husband is actually the driver to um, Blue Blue. Now, when um, Yanifa carried the cart there, Yanifa did everything and asked everybody to go that they should converge in 30 minutes. When they converged, they saw this um, helpless woman. Uh, she was there rolling her eyes, you know, um, um, not being coordinated. And it was a whole lot, okay? And that was when Yanifa started saying she should confess that she was the one who did those stuff to Olori Naomi's um, uh, vehicle. And um, um, KBSC could not believe his eyes. KBSC was very, very disappointed. The husband to this woman was very disappointed. Um, such that the woman decided, the husband decided um, he wasn't working with Blue Blue again. Um, from what the husband was saying, 
The husband has stated that Blue Blue have something to do with what um, plagued this woman, what that he has never for once heard that the woman has any uh, sort of uh, uh, craft or anything like that, witchcraft, that he is even surprised and disappointed, not only on the woman, disappointed in himself, because um, Kabiasi has been really good to them. It was then that we heard that the man started saying that time and time again, that woman has been going out with Blue Blue, maybe Blue Blue was the one who put her um, into that and all of that. And a lot of people started arguing that the man looks like he wants to support the wife. That what is he saying? That Blue Blue is the one who put uh, the woman through that. Because apparently, if Blue Blue is going to use the woman, it's because Blue Blue knows that the woman has the capacity. The woman would have pride herself as somebody who can do and undo. Because you cannot say oh, it was on that very day that Blue Blue initiated her and now sent her on an errand. So it was a whole argument going on over and over again. And at the end of the day, that was how um, everything went. The husband left the job. He, she was, he was very upset. But I said that, Kabiesi left Iyanifa to handle everything this time because Kabiesi said that um, Nami should not be involved, that he is completely exhausted with people having the audacity to doing things to Lori Nami and coming back to apologize over and over again, that Nami should not be involved in it. Iyanifa should handle it. But what we heard right now is that Yanifa kept saying the woman must confess that she would not do anything to the woman, that if the woman wants to gain her sanity back, that the woman needs to confess. But from what we are hearing, it's looking like the woman refused to confess. Now, hold on. Let me give my people a shout out. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Delorama. I bring you fresh and spicy jays from the sauces still on the royals. How are you guys doing? I appreciate you so much. I love you. A share I do well with my people. You're yet to subscribe. Kindly go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And do not forget to turn on the notification bell. And do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Happy weekend to you, Dela Right. Dela rights, my Dela rights, my Dela rights, my own people. Dela rights, my Dela rights, my Dela rights, my super people. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you, my people. Hmm. They said that this woman refused to confess, so there's nothing they didn't do for the woman to confess. Boom, her mouth was shut. She has refused to confess, and because she has refused to confess, um, uh, that Yanifa allowed her to go. Now she went. They said Yanifa had spoken to the husband, telling the husband that, look, what you need to do is to tell your wife to confess. Should your wife not confess, whatever you say, you take it to. I'm not doing anything. All she needs to do is to confess. They said the woman refused to confess, and now the woman left. And right now we heard that Colomenta, 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 the woman has gone Colomental. It's not a small something that the woman is beginning to roam the street right now. That the whole of last week they were cast, they, they tied the woman up and they, they were begging Yanifa and all of that. Yanifa said there's nothing, absolutely nothing uh, she can do. The only thing is that the woman needs to confess. And the woman's mouth is closed. Whether they are, the people are closing the woman's mouth, or Yanifa, they, they've now begged Yanifa that Yanifa should do something to open the woman's mouth. Maybe there are people are closing um, the woman's mouth. Yanifa says she's the one who is closing her mouth. She's too ashamed to say the things that she has done, not only to Olori Nami, but to her own family. So that was why I started this just by saying when the um, piercing is not too deep. Is easier to remove. But when it's too deep, it becomes very difficult to remove. I'm going to bring you more updates. I appreciate you guys so much. Do not forget, these are all alleged, rumored, and speculated information. Making the rounds on social media. And whatever you get on social media, you want to take it with a pinch of salt.